Welcome back to the show. Very excited for our next segment because we're talking food, a little mm. bit of wine as well, and uh, there's an open bottle right in front of us, so who wouldn't yeah. be excited? We are joined by Veronica Robiznik's Martin, the general man manager of Asteria de Luca. Welcome to the show. And Thanks. Chef Frank as well. Chef Frank, welcome to the show. Great Thank to you have you here. Much. This is an interesting story for you, Veronica, because you were telling us you kind of stumbled in the, into this GM position. Tell yeah. us how, yeah. That, yeah. how, how that, that story happen? happened. Well, I, I'm an independent writer-producer normally and worked with private clients. And um, I, I just, I was doing a lot of editing at home alone. Okay. And I was craving the social life. And so I thought I would just apply to a restaurant because that was a time back in my 20s when it put me through school. And, and I was like, I was really happy in that time. It's a really social, great environment to work right. in. So I was just looking for something really just part-time. And, uh, but in my interview, I realized that they were asking for lam, the soul, as they put it, and I was nice. I was nice. like, oh my god, this is <laughs> not part time. Very, very <laughs> serendipitous of it. Yeah, Find it. exactly. So yeah, so I'm I'm winging it. <laughs> well, and you, uh, and every restaurant has a great chef behind them, and, and Chef Absolutely. Frank is a fabulous yeah. chef. No, Frank, I'm what are you preparing for us here today? Uh, today uh, I'm preparing uh, linguine carbonara. It's a very traditional Italian uh, pasta dishes. Very nice. Well, well, you get started on that, and we'll chat a little bit more here with Veronica. Mm -hmm. So, Veronica, when you went into the restaurant, you started talking to the ownership group. What were they looking for? Were they looking to make a change of some kind? Well, there there had been a bit of a, an exodus. The chef that was there before Frank um, had moved on. Okay. And, um, and so they were looking to fill those, those places. Right. But it was in a very short time frame. Okay. And so we're still in a little bit of a transition from that, but now it's been six weeks, so it's been there's been a gap of time, and and uh, Chef Frank is an excellent chef, so I'm not having to deal with problems with food. Right. <laughs> so so really, if you have great food in a restaurant and uh, the people are enjoying the environment, then that's really I think all you need. But um, nice. we'll see. So Frank, can you describe the menu for us? Yes, it's uh, actually a very traditional menu. We have uh, pasta dishes, uh, lasagna, uh, homemade lasagna, uh, homemade uh, cannelloni, uh, manicotti, uh, spaghetti meatball. We serve it with two-way tomato sauce or meat sauce. Because okay. people in Ottawa, they love meat, so yeah. the meat yeah, lovers can choose the meat sauce. Uh, we have also the traditional meal, uh, chicken and veal, uh, marsala, both chicken and veal marsala. We have chicken and veal parmigiana, and uh, yeah, that's else? that's the uh, gist. We have yeah. some we have some steak. We have some combo plate like uh, steak lovers. We do uh, pork tenderloin, grilled pork tenderloin, and uh, uh, filet mignonette on oh, the grill nice. with oh, uh, wild nice. mushroom risotto. So. Everybody can find their, can their find desire. Them. Yeah, exactly. So if you got an Italian taste, looking for an Italian taste, you, this is exactly where to go. So speaking of which, where, are you, where exactly are you guys located? We're, uh, we're on St. Joseph and Orleans Boulevard, so we're out okay. in Orleans. Um, but very easy to get to, parking, all that. So, so that's it's parking provider and everything yeah. so far. Now yeah. what about the atmosphere, Veronica? Describe it's the really atmosphere. It's really intimate. It's a small room. It's, uh, there's 44 seats and, I mean, it's 12 tables and a bar. Um, so really we do take reservations and the room fills quickly, so we recommend that. Right. And now with the Christmas season coming up, do you guys, uh, you host your own parties, you host events? How, well, how it's do we perfect. It's perfect for 20 to 30 people in that okay. space. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can do 40 as well, but, but because the room is intimate, I think that, uh, that your average office or Christmas party would do well in there. Perfect. And it really is your space, and it's just a nice little lost area. It's and you carry some beautiful wines as well. You brought some wines along with you here. Yeah, I brought a Chianti and an Amarone. Um, the Amarone is more expensive in our in our restaurant, but it's like drinking chocolate. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> this, this is, yeah. An, I've had this before, and you're right. It, it's it's a little bit more on a uh, little bit more expensive, but yes. just a beautiful. Yes, beautiful. absolutely beautiful wine. And then we do a lot of Chiantis. We do a um, on Friday and Saturdays, we do a Chianti and Carbonara night. So oh, we nice. feature the Carbonara on the Fridays and Saturdays. It's not on our menu, but okay. um, but we do it on the weekends. And we will do it, actually, if you're in the restaurant and request it. So, so yeah. So this is a traditional I know. I'm watching Frank. So you've, you've put uh, four eggs in there. What did you add to the eggs over there? Uh, I add uh, 
half and half. I don't want to make it with cream because it's too it's too heavy on on, okay. uh, on cholesterol. And uh, the the reason I put the half and half because I try to make it a little bit more moister, the the, the, the l rather than a traditional carbonara. Okay. And I experimented this with uh, my customers or followers, <laughs> and they like it he this has way. Yeah, he's they got like groupies. This way. He's got groupies. I actually have lots of Italian friends and. Uh, uh, and I try on them too, and, <laughs> and they they say just they they like it this way. Uh, it's a great way to try things out too. And yeah, yes. Absolutely, yeah, because you, you'll find uh, the traditional ones that, that they're very pasty after a little bit, like it's yeah, it's, it's too it's thick. It's so it's to have it's dry, like it, yeah, yeah. It out quickly. Personally, I like moist. Yeah, like same moist, here. Like juicy and, yeah. and just easy to swallow. And See, then, we appreciate and that. And then. Uh, uh, sipping a, a little wine on it. So does it's the Chianti go well with this dish? Oh yeah. Oh well, let me just. I think the Chianti goes well with any dish, <laughs> but let especially me a bit with here. this dish. <laughs> so you have a fairly extensive wine list as well, then, Veronica? Yeah, it's it's ex no, I wouldn't say extensive. It, it's it's intimate like our set. Right. Yeah, there's so something to go with the dishes. There's a lot for of sure. Chiantis, um, definitely matched one per, for dishes. See, but you know what, we, but I was out recently, and, and, and to that point, when you have too many, you get confused, and then you, you don't want to pair it up. You don't know which one to pair yeah. off, and which That's one's it. the better one. So having it short and intimate is actually the perfect pairing, I think. Yeah. So it's good on you for not having this extensive, big, fat list. Yeah, and also, too, we like to experiment with what's happening locally. Um, the pancetta in here is local. I've been really conscious about sourcing our food. Um, yeah, do you buy local? Yes. So yes, is it more food. challenging, do you think, because... Yeah, it's you know, a lot you're more doing work. doing traditional Italian yeah. dishes, and right? there's and things that you can't be attached to always serving because it's not fresh, right. or yeah. you can't get it, and you have to explain to people why. You don't but that's it. but that's much preferable to me. I think I'm influenced a bit by Gordon Ramsay and yeah. <laughs> and oh, Joe Bastiani yeah, well, and those guys. Well, it unique <laughs> and it diversifies your menu because you don't want the same cookie cutter kind of box restaurant. It no. keeps it open and fresh and new, so you know. And I'm always really into working evolving. with local people who are also trying to run their businesses. Oh, that's the 100 right. mile rule, like I'm yeah. really into that. Ottawa's idea. really come on board for that. And it's so It's so nice to see. Yeah. And, yeah. and the fact, you know, we have a lot of restaurants, but that's a good thing because yeah. it means more choice. I right, think it's an people. art yeah. now for the Otto Antonians to kind of go around and find that, hey, there's that restaurant, yeah. it has that best dish, so you yeah. gotta go there. And then you gotta go to that restaurant, it has that best dish. And it's like, it's an art now to find all the secret nooks well, of all the city. Well, we're becoming a foodie city. We yeah. are, we really and I are. love it. And so this you, is another example. Frank, what did you uh, finish off here with? A little bit so of white wine? Uh, I put a little bit of white wine. Uh, okay. But first, when, when I, when I sauteed the, the onion and the pancetta, then I put the pasta on it. Right. And then toast it over. And then I put the, the, the mixture, what is goes on, on the pasta. So, and try to keep it, keep it uh, moist, like you can, you yeah, can, can see, see the that. Yeah, yes. I can see what you mean by that. It's, it's, it's kind of like a juicy looking pasta. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we'll and I season it, yeah. I'm sorry. Go and ahead, I season Frank, it with salt and pepper, so nothing too complicated. Very nice. Just very gently yeah, with salt because uh, because uh, the pancetta is like, a little bit salty, like right. it's in brine before they smoke. Well, we'll it, have so. you plate that up, and we'll have a toast to new management. Cheers. Thank you Cheers. very Cheers. much for being successes. here, and, and a brand Cheers. new chef Cheers. as well. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank really you. appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. We'll be back us. with more daytime right after this. Don't go anywhere. Great.